welcome back to Exotica Pet Shop Simulator. Unfortunately, I'm not going to actually be doing any gameplay today at all. If I hit the continue button, you'll see why. Um, this has happened God knows how many times now. Um, this is about the 12th, 12th time I've loaded in from scratch. I wanted you to see the whole process. This is what happens. We're stuck where our flat used to be, and now there seems to be nothing here. Um, there is a way down, but not a way out. So we can't get down anywhere in the shop. I've tried. You go near the front door, and it just it blocks you from getting too close, so I can't even sort of trick the system into me opening the door down there. Uh, I can't get round the back. And there is only sort of one way out, and it's down there, like a little gap. Once you get down, you fall down, you, you, you're down. The, um, yeah, the, the downside to that is you can't get out. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. I haven't found a way out. Um, maybe one of you guys know differently. Uh, let me know if you do in the comments. But as for the time being, as for the way things stand right this moment, this is going to be the end of Exotica Pet Simulator series. Um, I will probably send an email um, to the developers if I can't find any information. It could well be that some of these games, when they receive updates, corrupt your save file, which obviously isn't great. <laughs> But, um, yeah, for the time being, it'll end the series. We'll pick it up and restart the series a little bit later. Uh, possibly start of sort of winter time. But what we'll do is, next week, we will replace it with um, gun gunsmithing. There, there is another game out that I, I did a prologue live on. Um, which, you know, as a Brit making guns, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing half the time. So... Maybe some of you Americans out there would absolutely love to just sit there and criticise me, which is fine. I don't mind that. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to do that to replace this for a little while um, until this this particular game is sorted. Because I you was know, just getting into this. It's quite a good little game. Um, it's just a shame it's happened what has happened. And this thing happens every now and then. It's still a good game. I still recommend, re recommend to get it. It can get tedious by like a lot of simulators. But um, you will find that it can become very addictive as well. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, do subscribe, though. <laughs> there are plenty of other games that I'm I'm currently doing. We've got a uh, car dealership simulator, uh, farming simulator, as always. We've still got the Amigos to, uh, you know, get to filming eventually when I can get everybody online at one time. Um, we've still got, uh, still got the Droodle series, currently a New Hope farm. Um, with Eddie, uh, that's still going to be running on a Sunday for the time being. And then hopefully, when I can get round to the time to actually get it all finished and uh, polished off, we will have a new series in Farming Simulator um, all about returning home. It's a follow-on from the Western Wild, uh, and that will be taking place on a British map. Uh, a very popular and established map. Uh, it's, I'm not going to go straight into court farms. We've got plans for court farms when it comes out on Xbox. Um, I primarily play on PC. However, my PC is not quite up to farming simulator standards, I'm afraid. <laughs> so that is done via the Xbox. And it's also easier for um, some of the other members that I play with as well. So, yeah, it is what it is. We've got, we've got a nice lineup of games. Um, we are looking to do one more on the channel fairly soon as well which would be um cars for sale 2023 i think it's called uh, again it's a car second hand car market sort of buying and selling you got your little showroom you build up from there you can drag race uh, i think there's auctions now we've waited a while because of all the updates that have been coming i have played it in the background so i do know roughly what i'm doing in a lot of things so yeah starting again from scratch on that would be pretty pretty nice um and maybe we can all incorporate some decisions from everybody else so lots of things in the background coming up so do subscribe uh and apologies that this is not going to be back for a little while it is what it is 
I'm not going to hold them again, hold it against them because um, they, they, they've made some good games. This one's not bad, and as I say, it's still technically not a finished product yet. So help them out. Go get the game. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. I guarantee it's under. I think it's under fifteen quid. Um, that's probably twelve dollars, give or take. Um, so yeah, go for it. It'll be fantastic. And until next time, this has been Matty G. I'm watching the blonde walk past my window that's not there either. Ignore me. Peace out. Mm -hmm.